Hey guys, how you doing? I, Dave Moore here, making a video on being left-handed and shooting the AR platform rifle. Basically, what I'm going to talk about is a few parts that I put on this that help me being left-handed. Now, as a disclaimer, I do recommend that if you are left-handed, that you kind of teach yourself to operate the gun with the right-handed controls, i.e. not using any ambi controls. If you can operate the gun, just a stock mil-spec rifle with all the right-handed controls, and you're left-handed, then you're much better off because then you have more of a uh, ability to grab a rifle off the street and not be confused. So with that being said though, I prefer to have ambi controls. So what I'm gonna talk about is just the parts I put on it. I'm gonna start here in the back. This is the Magpul ambi sling mount. It's the uh, single point sling mount. Everybody knows this one. This is the Magpul ASAP. So you know what it is. I'm not gonna talk about it. Moving forward is probably one of my favorite things, and that is the Rainier Arms Raptor. It is the Ambi charging handle. This is kind of one of those, I don't want to say, uh, for, well, for lack, lack of a better uh, term, industry standard. A lot of people have this, this charging handle. It is the Rainier Arms Raptor, and they have different variations. I believe they have a, a, a Veltor and a few other ones that are you know branded with a certain company, but the base charging handle is the Rainier Arms Raptor and it is awesome. It, I mean, it's pretty, it looks good and it works uh, e even better than it looks to be honest with you. Moving forward is the Ambi Safety Selector. All I have is just a, a BCM El Cheapo, uh, not saying BCM is cheap but it wasn't very expensive to buy. It is a BCM Ambi Safety. Ultimately what it is, it is the mil spec safety that is on both the left and the right side of the rifle. So I have the ability now to turn the safety off with my thumb and turn it back on with my index finger. And that is very, very big. Even if you're right-handed, I recommend you get ambi safeties just for that reason, that you can turn it off with, with your thumb and back on with your index. Off of the thumb, on with the index. It makes it a hell of a lot easier, trust me. Moving forward is the Troy Industries Ambi Mag Release. It is ultimately like a lever pivot that goes on the opposite side of the rifle, AKA the left side of the rifle. And when you push it, it pretty much just activates the normal mag release, but through a pivot me uh, mechanism that they have. Uh, does it work the best? It doesn't work the best. Does it work? Yes, it does work. The magazines will fall out if you have it right. And then you, you, you can see it in your new magazine. So once again, it's a demo. So yes, the magazines do fall out. Uh, sometimes they don't though. It depends what magazines you have. My P mags weren't falling out, and I thought it was the Ambi uh, mag release, but it turns out it was just the P mags. The, the Hetz mags fall out just fine. So that's really it for the Ambi controls. One other thing that I'll mention is I have the Odin Works extended mag release, the XMR, I believe is what they call it. This is just the the Gen One, and the reason that I got that is, well, number one, I got it for free with my handguard, but number two, a lot of times if you're left-handed, you kind of practice your reloads by stripping the mag out first. Well, this kind of gives me a bigger button, a bigger platform to hit when stripping that magazine out. So yeah, it was free, but I do like it. It is a good part, so I recommend you get it out or get, get one. It is the uh, Odin Works XMR Extended Mag Release. That's really it. Obviously, my, my flashlight is just mounted on the opposite side. And if you had the same setup, you can just mount it to the left side of the rifle if you're right-handed. Um, that's it, guys. So going back through, Magpul ASAP sling attachment, Rainier Arms, Raptor charging handle, BCM Ambi safety selector, and the Troy Ambi mag release. That's the brands and the styles that I have. Uh, this is not an end-all be-all. There are other brands out there. Maybe brands that are better that I just didn't see at the time. But that's it. So being left-handed and owning a rifle can actually be changed very cheaply. About $150, $200 or so, you can make your rifle completely ambi. And a lot of them are coming ambi anyway. So being left-handed doesn't have to be hard. Keep shooting, guys.